A long, long time ago, the earth was quite different than it is today. No roads crossed the mountains. No people crossed the plains. Strange creatures filled unusual seas. Nothing looked the same on the globe. There were no countries. The only certainty was that in time, all things would change. In this memory of things past, there existed a large, beautiful shell. In it lived a proud animal, a creature that moved through the shoals of the great seas. The large shell traveled on and above the sandy bottom of an ocean, warm, As the shadows of time swept over the sea, the shell was buried deep beneath the sand. time, the creature was no longer, but the hard, colorful shell continued to exist. Over many millions of years, large pieces of land moved to new places. These changes packed the sand and silt tighter and tighter around the shell. Many more layers of sea bottom grew up where the shell had once spirited through the water. In time, the last of the water ran through the tightly packed sand and silt. Where the shell had once been, a new kind of rock took up residence. Every detail was preserved by the new rock, but nearly every piece of the old shell was gone. Where the shell had once been, 
the earth took up residence in its old form. shifting sand beneath an ancient sea became a mountain standing on end. Where the edge of the mountain faced the sky, the wind and rain raked its edges. Slowly, grains of rock were stripped off as the wind had its way. After a while, a brightly colored fossil of a large shell poked shyly from the rock. Hundreds of thousands of years passed, with rain, wind, and sun dancing on the mountain. More of the shell shone from the mountainside. One day, a medicine man, an elder in his tribe, spied the strangely shaped, glistening rock. He took it as a sign of good times ahead for his people. The shell was carefully removed from the mountain that had faithfully embraced it for so many years. shell came to rest in the medicine man's residence, a place of straw and timber. His sacred fossil frequented ceremonies, reflecting the fire on its shimmering surface. As the medicine man aged, he would watch the memory of the shell as the fire burned low. One day when the medicine man was very old, he lifted the fossil and held it to his heart. It talked to him of days long ago, of strange creatures and warm distant seas. The ancient visions transported him. Later, the medicine man was no more, but the fossil shell was still young.
Eventually, the tribe was displaced on the land by a new people. They came from a far distant shore and had ideas that were new to the land. Their skin was almost white. And in their eagerness, they changed everything. Cars, airplanes, dune buggies, electric music, and unclear skies painted the heaven. The place was so very different to the young and old alike. Its past was no longer known. Treasure to a child is not what it is to the old, for everything is new to the young, even what is forgotten. The junk heap is a place of wonder, where buried memories are coupled with new hopes. Digging in such a pile was a young boy and his sister. Look at this shoe, she said but it was covered in soot and the pink fabric faded. What about this broken hammer, he said. But she looked the other way. Then their eyes rested on it at the very same time. fossilized shell peered up from the heap. Their hands grasped it together. Mine, said the little boy. Mine, said the little girl. It flew through the air, destined to shatter, but for his catcher's arm, it would be gone. Grandfather, they said, look what we found. Oh, my, the old man said. This is a magical shell with a story to tell. They looked at their grandfather expectantly. Oh, I can't tell you about it, he said, dismissing them. You must listen for yourselves. We each lifted it to our ears and listened for its music to tell the story of time. Cool stone told of lands before and lands since. After my grandfather was gone, we too were quite old. I often wonder about this fossil, as does my sister. Whose hands have touched it, and whose hearts has it warmed? 
We looked upon the stone's delicate latticework, so much like life, so intricate, so interconnected. placed this wonderful shell in her hands, and she did not let go. Today it is once again beneath the earth, guarding her on a long journey to an unknown shore. As I walk the beach with my hair as white as ocean foam, I am all alone, save for the memory of our shell. Its memory speaks clearly to me of people in my life and of the lives of others who are no longer with me. Surprisingly, this stone, so old and cold, can still warm a heart and clear a mind. Its light guides my steps as I hear the song of the magic shell and its many lives. sings to me. Remember love, forget the rest.